Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl. As I told you guys, I was going to make another video and I am. Uh, I'm always kind of pissed off. I mean, look, I get it. There's opportunists. I'm all for it. You know, you want to make money. You want to do this, do whatever you got to do. But you know, a lot of these opportunists work for gaming, uh, for Target. They work for Best Buy. They work for that. And what they do is they end up buying out the entire collector's editions of certain uh, games out there and what they do is they end up marketing uh, you know marking up the prices and everything so let's get right to it I'll tell you all about it <laughs> So guys, like I said, uh, let's get right into it. I'm not even going to waste any time. So like I said, guys, um, you know, capitalism, you know, whatever you want to make money, go ahead and do that. But there's a lot of people, a lot of corruption that's going on in the gaming industry, especially people that work for Best Buy, Target, uh, every, you know, GameStop. What happens is they let their employees, even though some of them don't, and they still do it through their friends or whatever, they end up purchasing all the collector's edition and end up selling it on eBay for crazy amount of, uh, of money. Now, if you guys look, Doom Eternal, okay, uh, it was $200. It comes with a helmet. It comes, you know, the collector's edition for the PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, us Nintendo fans always get screwed, so we're not getting a collector's edition, but whatever. Uh, but what happens is they end up buying all of these out, and then what happens is they mark it up on eBay. Not, I'm not talking about like $250. i am talking $400. I saw a guy selling it for $800. Ain't going to get any money for that, of course. But uh, $600, $400, 500 and I've seen it sell. And it's really sad because I see also Nintendo Switch fans, a lot of Nintendo Switch fans who, uh, you know, like myself, uh, but I buy it for PC, but I'm saying they don't, have, they don't really buy it for PC. They're buying it just to get the helmet and all of these other things. And they're going into the, uh, into these things and you can't find it in GameStop anymore. You can't find it in Best Buy. You can't find it anywhere because it's all sold out. So what do they do? They go to eBay, pay the markup price and get ripped off big time. Well, I'm here to tell you it's available on GameStop right now. The reason why it wasn't available and i was and i told you guys this in the original uh doom when they came out with the uh uh the revenant uh, as i did the unboxing for you guys a lot of you guys complained in the beginning that it was sold out in your area and i told you guys the reason it's sold out is because they're pushing the date so if they push the date they close it whatever people bought they close it and then they wait till they're closer to the date and they re-release it again you know, obviously they want to make money, so they are going to sell the collector's editions. It's going to be uh, a good amount of it. It's not limited edition, believe me. There, it's not like the one I had for Wolfenstein, the one I did the uh, with the dog, you know, the dog and everything. Uh, what's his name? Pa Panzer, whatever. Uh, uh, what happened is that was a limited edition number. These aren't really limited editions. They'll always have them. Until now, I see the Revenant in in my friend's GameStop. Okay, uh, so I'm going to tell you. I knew they were going to come out with more, but I went and asked, and I told you guys, and a lot of you guys said, bull crap, he's lying, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, guess what, guys? Yes, it's available now on GameStop. It's available. I give you guys absolute real information all the time. You know, anybody that knows me, I don't lie in my videos. I'm not a paid-for yuppie. I don't do Patreon. I don't do any of that stuff. The reason I open up this page, I, I work three jobs, is to give you guys real, honest information so we can all give back to the community to, make, to help them make better informed decisions. We're a totally independent channel. This is the people's channel. There's nothing to lie about here. So guess what, guys? Yes, they're including it right now. They have the collector's edition up for purchase for $200, okay? 200 bucks. that's all it is. Go ahead and get it uh, if you want. If not, I'm doing uh, unboxing on day one. Believe me, I think they're going to have even that. The Revenant is still available on GameStop. I'm sure they're going to have this available as well all throughout. Uh, so definitely, and you know, if they don't have it for one, they'll have it for PC or Xbox one. Trust me, they're going to have it. Now I wanted to do a 3d print of the helmet in doom. So eventually I am going to do it. When I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a giveaway. Okay. So I believe me, my helmet is going to look a hell of a lot better than theirs, even though theirs is whatever, you know, um, 
licensed and whatnot. The helmets I build are built to last. If you guys saw my 3D prints, I build them. I did a Star Killer helmet. I'm actually working on the entire Star Killer uh, costume. Uh, it's going to be sick. I did the Sub Zero, uh, Cy uh, Cyborg Sub Zero, you know, Cyborg, uh, Cyborg Initiative. So m my parts are to last. Theirs is probably going to be cheap stuff. We're going to see what it is. So I'm going to do a full unboxing for you, and I'm going to do another video that's going to be a full on review of the game itself. So be sure to tune in to see how the heck that turns out. But I am going to do a giveaway once I finish the 3D print, and I'm going to let you guys choose which one you want, whether you want the licensed one or whether you want this. Believe me, none of them are going up in price. It's it's going to be like the Revenant. It's still available for the same price that you could buy in GameStop if you guys want. Uh, and believe me, there'll always be that stuff there. But the thing is right now i recommend instead of you guys going to ebay getting ripped off and they still have those prices and it kind of ticks me off but you know whatever they still have those prices up on ebay i know i'm gonna get a lot of hate on this uh video here and i really don't care because this is the people's channel i love you guys and i want you guys always i tell you guys the second i find a deal or the second something comes out i do a surprise video release that thing boom right off of our schedule and you guys know like the memory cards the sales that are going on the game stops that are closing and what you could get and great deals this is what it's about, people. It's all about sharing information. This is our community. So I want you guys to go. If you guys really want this collector's edition, now is the time to get it. It's only 200 bucks. You can find it in GameStop. Believe it or not, it was weird. Um, when I ordered it, they told me the only place they had it was Flatbush. Okay, and I'm in Queens. Nowhere else was it available, apparently. So I had them deliver it to the to the GameStop, uh, to my friend's GameStop. And then my friend calls me up and he goes to me, Leo, what are you talking about? Just Flatbush. He said, oh, there must have been a glitch because everybody has them. And now you could literally look and it's available everywhere. So definitely go and get it. Even if it's not available in your area now, believe me, it will be. And you could just get it from anywhere and have it delivered to the GameStop. And this is why I like GameStop, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. With Target, Best Buy, they don't really feel... Uh, they're not really gamers, a lot of them. They're pressured to make sales. Before Best Buy, uh, I know uh, my friend who works in Best Buy, uh, he told me they never cared about how many sales they make. They don't pay commission. Now they actually keep track of sales and all of that stuff. They're pushing, selling microwaves and, you know, big expensive appliances and microwaves, refrigerators and TV, big televisions and entertainment systems and stuff. They're not really gamers, a lot of them. And... It, it feels good to speak to a gaming community and call them up and say, hey, can you deliver it to this? Can you deliver it to that? It has just more convenience. And yes, I'm a collector and I love to use to have physical copies, tangible copies that I can collect. And like I said before, digital might be convenient, but when you're selling your systems, you want to sell them and have games to sell with them so you can purchase the new system with games or the new system and not have to pay money for it when you have the digital thing you can't do that because it just pretty much you're just going to sell the system that's how they rip you off so it's good to have a game stop to, to sell you stuff and uh you know have collector's editions that are going to come out i mean literally i asked target i said is the collector's edition there and the guy literally just said no i don't know whatever's there we have i don't know what we have and then a couple seconds later he took out the the revenant collection this was a you know when we had uh doom 2016 so believe Believe me, they don't know what they're talking about. A lot of them have no idea what anything is. Not that I'm saying the employees there are stupid. There are a lot of good employees there, people that do understand games, and they're really amazing people. But there's just a lot of them that are in certain floors that don't belong there and they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. And uh, I wish they actually had people who, you know, they say, hey guys, who uh, has an interest for games? We're going to put them in the gaming department because we know you'll be able to advise people. But it's like the gaming places in Target and Walmart and everything it's it's not knowledgeable the people they just put it there for display and they're just pushing their big expensive appliances and stuff like that that's where uh you know that's where the knowledge comes in and all that stuff they're people but uh you know it feels good walking into a gamestop as i told you guys uh the one that closed i really was torn apart because that was another one that i really loved filled with honest people on 71st continental here in queens i was so saddened by uh its closure uh until now i'm like i'm still sad about it it was an electronic boutique and then became that i was just so oh so angry today i look i went by and they actually ripped the gamestop part so you see the whole red but with a black 
square, you know, rectangle there that cover up. It was just one of the most saddest moments in gaming history for me, at least. And I know a lot of you guys have uh, negative, uh, you know, feelings towards uh, certain game stops because I know they're pressured to sell to you. But I, I haven't had issues only with some. A lot of them that I went to, the people I repeated to go to are people that didn't push and weren't liars. And it's just so sad to see them closing right now. And I'm glad my friend's GameStop in the mall is still uh, up and running. I'm so happy about that. And he's not in danger of closing thus far. Uh, but it is a dying industry. And I hope that they somehow figure out a way uh, to, you know, get out of this rut and uh, continue. Uh, but it is so cool. They're going to deliver it there. And he's holding it for me. And I'm going to get it. Uh, but right now is the time to get it because believe it or not, I'm willing to bet they're going to start buying it out again and having their people buy it. And eventually they're going to start uh, plugging in prices on eBay again. I, I still doubt it. I think they're going to still have a ton of these around. And uh, most of these people that now bought so many that are going to want to, they're probably going to want to liquidate them. And they know that it's $200. So keep your eye on the eBay products because they might actually go down in price <laughs> and become cheaper than what it is over there. You might not get it in day one, but you're going to get it. And it's going to be cheaper uh but again with ebay i'm always kind of weary are they going to you know when they're going to sell it sell it to you are they going to be you know uh, miffed about what happened and probably not care about their packages and they'll break i don't know but uh i bet you you guys are going to get a probably a better deal now if not just buy it in gamestop it's 200 bucks not a problem uh, it's, and it's going to be cheaper than uh, anything there anyways guys as always self-funded here we're an independent channel let us help the community together by you know uh all of us speaking of uh, you know the truth and uh, and talking about the games and what are you going to do? Are you guys going to purchase uh, Doom Eternal? Are you guys going to purchase the Collector's Edition? What do you think, uh, us Nintendo fans? What do you think how we're getting always shortchanged and not getting Collector's Editions? And please, guys, I'm the only one probably that's writing to them. I want everybody to write to them in one big roar uh, to Nintendo and say, what the hell? Because we need to get Collector's Editions as well. This is totally unfair. I really hate that they're not doing this. It really pisses me off like Mega Man had the collection uh you, you remember the mouse pad and all that stuff that was included in the unboxing it's not fair that they don't have collector's editions from third party uh developers it's just so freaking unfair uh so let us go and make a mighty roar on that but I want to know are you guys going to buy the collector's edition are you guys going to buy the regular game are you can't uh, uh uh, how uh, you know? How do you feel about this game? I love Doom 2016. I'm a big Doom fan since the beginning, and I really loved it. And I really hope they don't screw it up in this. But so far, based on all the you know little clips I'm seeing online, I don't want to ruin it for myself. But I'm seeing them. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, in the beginning, the early you know the early footage looked like crap. Uh, now it looks absolutely amazing. Let me know what you guys think down below. It's the People's Channel. Let's give people together. Let's give back to the community to help people make better informed decisions. Uh, like subscribe hit that bell button i know a lot of you guys who hit the bell button are still saying you're not getting alerted and you called uh youtube and they, you, know, you you contacted youtube and they told you uh that uh it's because we're not big well we're growing sure uh you know slowly but surely uh let's get the word out there let's make our community grow uh and let's uh you know comment down below let me know what you guys think have a good one y'all take care bye as always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.